So uh, I wanted to show you guys how to do uh, something, uh, but without actually doing it, uh, because it's just too uh, time-consuming. Uh, parts like this, where you have to do some turning work, and then you have to pull the part, and you have to do some more uh, turning or milling work, and then uh, you have to regrip the part and cut the part off, and uh, move it to a subspindle. Uh, that that's one of the worst things uh, Mastercam is set up for. It's really not a not a great system that processes this crap. And uh, so uh, I avoid it. You know, like the plague. But uh, once in a while, you have to get involved in something like this. And uh, you you have two choices to make. You either you know. Uh, pull, pull apart, transform a part, and you just uh, roll a wireframe, make a turning operation, and uh, go ahead and uh, you know fix the code, like uh, put in the uh, synchronous uh, spindle commands, and you know code your own uh, axis motion and stuff like that to pick off the part with the you know jaw clamps and stuff like that, or you can use the uh, the part handling interface, you know, and I had a template, so, you know, this part still was an intimidating part, and I didn't want to deal with it, and it took a while to get into this, but anyway, I'm here, and uh, it was, it was uh, somewhere else in the process, but as you can see, uh, we, we did a cutoff, uh, 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 pickoff operation, and, uh, let me see if I can, uh, yeah. So we, so we, we grab the part. And so the jaws move in and, uh, grab the part and pull the part. And then we, uh, did some back turning and machining to the part. We re the part, cut it off and pull it away. But, uh, what I was going to show you was how to edit these positions. And so the way that these positions get edited, if for, per se I wanted to, uh, uh, let's see. So if I move up, uh, I'm in the wrong spot. So I, I gripped this part, pulled the part, okay? So if I wanted to pull it to a different spot, what I would have to do is get into this pull stock operation right here, go into parameters and see these positions. I was originally at 0.600 in the negative on my uh, my here. I'm gonna I'm gonna zoom in so you can see this better. I was originally at 0.600 on my main spindle part, uh, and I pulled the 4.088. But if I want to edit this position. The way that they made this, I actually have to edit this position uh, in reposition uh, mode, push the green check, and I have to rebuild that operation. And then what will happen is often the very next thing, the clamp also has, for some stupid reason, positions, but it's not a, it's not a positional move. Uh, it's just a clamping operation. However, what you'll have to do is you'll have to click reposition and give it the correct combination of of positions green check out rebuild then re-enter the operation change it back to clamp green check out rebuild and now it won't break the operation and so you know each of these operations has positions in it whether it's a clamp and unclamp or a move, an actual move. So you, you kind of deal with a minefield with these operations. And so I, I took this from a longer op. I added the positional move. Uh, I added the clamp as a positional move, rebuilt those operations, then went into the clamp, rebuilt the clamp. And uh, uh, at that point, I, I had that done. And I, and I messed with the, uh, with the other operation as well. But uh, whoever designed these uh, operations at, at Mastercam really 
uh, it would have been cool uh, if they had, you know, had had made this uh, a dialogue instead that you could that you could edit. Uh, actually, I'm noticing that uh, my retract, my move to retract, uh, somehow was screwed up. So my original position was wrong, 1.95. So this will give you an example of uh, uh, of correcting something like that. And uh, let me see. Was my clamp wrong? No, it has the right positions. So uh, let's go ahead and... Uh, so now you see my jaws in the right place. And then they move back, which is weird. Uh, oh, maybe I have to rebuild this op. There you go. But you saw that move, and, and, and that was cool because it wasn't the... Uh, there was no other operations been behind it. So that, that doesn't... Uh, let, me, let me see if that looks right. If I go to levels and I try my sub-solid... Uh, that actually doesn't look right. So... Um, hmm. you know, I, I, and I don't know what, what is forcing this one, uh, to be where it is, so I may be, uh, yeah, like, look at that, it didn't bring the, the part fully back, so maybe what I could do is actually, uh, uh, measure this part with the distance tool and this is how stupid this kind of uh, interface is and uh, these are the hardest things you do with with lathes is uh, crap like this where you have to you know very specifically move and, and handle the part and cut between chucks so I am uh, so it's it's kind of the most important stuff for the cam system to actually handle so if I take this and I, and I uh, move to 4, 5, 3, 4, that would imply I'd get uh, what I'm looking for. Uh, let me see this once. Uh, I want to check my cutoff and see where my cutoff was conducted. I conducted my cutoff at, and I don't, I don't see a position. Uh, uh, Ten thou, okay. So four five three wouldn't be right. I'd have to actually make this uh, thirty uh, point four 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 or something like that. And if I do that, let's see if that does it. <coughs> Rebuild that. There, my jaws are in the right place, and my stock moved. That's what you're what, what you're fighting for. You're fighting for stock motion, so that you can do your next operations without uh, being uh, unstock aware. Anyway, guys, I hope this helps. Uh, sorry, I didn't want to tackle taking one apart in the video and actually doing the work. Uh, it's actually uh, it probably turned into a half hour at that point. But that's that's kind of how murderous it is. Anyway, catch you guys later. Bye.